Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics. I'm Carrie, and in today's video, well, today I did it again. I ordered more fish, so stay tuned. Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, your place for guppy love and more. Sharing the good, the bad, and the unexpected adventures of fish keeping. Let the show start in three, two, one. Enjoy. So they just arrived. The new box of fish just got here. And if you haven't checked out aquaticarts.com, please do so. I've had nothing but good luck. And I will leave a link to their website down below. And even though these aren't live bears, I have wanted them for a little while now. And they're just always sold out. So let's grab some fresh fish water and I will open up that box and I will show you what just arrived. So let's go. So I do feel like everything's gonna work out in the end for these celestial pearl danios and I'm really excited to finally have them in the fish room. But because I did notice one that didn't make it when I opened the box and another one that's just honestly not looking too good, I completely rushed through the acclimation process in fact, I didn't acclimate them at all, but I do feel like they're much better off out of that fish bag in this 10 gallon aquarium right here. But for tonight, I'm going to do my best just to leave them alone. I'm gonna turn off the fish room lights and just let them settle in for the night. And I will bring you an update on how they're doing very soon. First off, I just have to say sorry. It's actually been a few weeks now since I have filmed this tank, but I was honestly just letting them settle in for a while. I also wanted to say I don't normally add the water from the fish bag into the tank with the new additions, but I completely rushed through the acclimation process when I saw one that didn't make it and another one that wasn't looking all that well. But I am glad to say that it did pull through and everything is looking and doing fantastic. 
that first week I did do super small water changes every few days, but now I do about 10 to 15% every few weeks. And I highly recommend aquaticarts.com. So make sure you do check out that description box below. And so far, my biggest complaint is just they're such fast swimmers that they're extremely hard to film. But again, they look beautiful. They have colored up quite a bit. And I do feed a variety of foods at least once a day. Today, I did feed the extreme krill flakes, which they do enjoy. They are currently in a 10 gallon aquarium, but I do have a new 20 gallon that hopefully I can set up soon. I do have extremely hard water in the fish room and the aquarium does get about 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The pH according to the test strips is close to 7.8 and this aquarium is lightly planted with a bronze crypt from Lucas Bretts. Again, check out the description box below and a floating plant that I just honestly cannot remember what it is. And the only tank mate that they have so far is a few Neocaridinia that are just honestly random in color. Make sure you subscribe to Science Gal Aquatics and that bell notification is clicked. And feel free to leave me a comment down below if you have any breeding advice on celestial pearl danios. But until next time, I'll see you in the comments and the live streams on Friday. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.